Hello everyone, and welcome back to Invisible Inc. Part two of this K&O Chief Financial Suite mission. Uh, we were just about to end our turn and move into alarm level two, so here we go. Tons of EMPs going off everywhere. Great, as predicted, nobody saw anybody. Guards have more armor. Now let's peek. Oh, jeez. Not just the uh, power cell. I guess there's more safes to deal with. Uh, does this have reinforcements? Yeah, yeah, it does. It's a little, I mean, you can see it uh, on the, 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 the little circle that goes up and down around these things. Here, I'll get the mouse out of the way. Whoops. And you can see. That, that's the magnetic reinforcements. It's a little bit subtle when you're this far away, and so I, I usually just mouse over it. But I guess if I were looking at a lot of things, it might make more sense to... I'm still worried about a camera back there, honestly. Okay, fine. Um, maybe a little bit paranoid. All right, let's loot this, see what's up. The exit card, great. Wow, 500 credits. We are moving up in the world, guys. I guess we've seen bigger saves before. It's just that uh, that one didn't look like a big safe to me, but I guess it was. Yeah, so we can comfortably come in here, hack this, and get out of the way. Even steal this guy's power. Can't quite get back to babysitting that guy, which bothers me a little. Um, I would like to scout this area a little bit more carefully. But I think I already have, haven't I? Maybe not. Mm, yeah. So there could be some stuff up here, but I don't think there is. We'll find out. And whatever it is, it's not going to be crucial to get to right away. We'll just... Uh, do we get out of the way now? Uh, banks can just sprint in there while invisible, grab the goods, and get out. So I think that's what we do. Look at that. Look at those moves, 23 moves. And we got a stim for 33 if we need them. So we're coming this way. Ah, the shop, eh? Well, I would love to visit, but I don't think I can. I don't think I can hack it in time. And I'm not going to mess with all this crap, I don't think. You can't steal power from turrets, can you? I don't think you can. Anyway, I mean, seven? How would how much would it really cost me to get through that? I mean, a lot, right? Four golems, basically? Mm, just three if I were willing to wait a turn, which I could do. That's... Mm, I'll consider it. Okay, well, let's work on Prism at the moment. So she really can't get anywhere productive right now. How about Derek? Yeah, he's got very little action, very few actions left, I suppose. Uh, I do have a lot of power, though, with that thing available. Maybe I do. I want to de uh, kill the demon as well, though. Mm, yeah, we can do it.
And it doesn't even have to be all golems, right? It could be three golems for 12, minus four is eight, plus a data blast is 11. And a hunter, I can't get a hunter in time. So I guess we just have to eat the demon if we want to go shopping. Does Banks have anything she can sell? No, not really. And she doesn't really want to get encumbered. I really want to see what's in the shop, though. That's the main way we're getting upgrades in in this late game, is by going shopping, right? Finding like that one item or that one augment that's going to make a big difference. All right, well, what do we do with Prism? What are these guards up to? Nobody's looking at this door except this guy. So I could duck around this way, I guess? No. I'm a little confused. I know there's two guards on this patrol, right? One guy is here, and I think he's going here? The other guy... His patrol path is here. And actually, we can just trace back, right? One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Seven and a half? He can't be here, or we would see a double. So it must be like there are guys standing here and here, going to here and here. So that means coming in this door is not very productive. And it's not easy, so let's just not do it. Uh, what do we do with this guy, though? He's kind of awkward. We, I mean, we can just dodge around and come down here, right? It's just it takes us several turns to get into position that way. I have a lot of... I, th I have some excess power. I think I am going to take the shop. So here. And actually, a parasite is more productive than... A data blast because we don't need any of the other stuff in this area and it's one cheaper basically so it's gonna be two golems next turn to finish that off and I might as well move banks up here you know if she gets encumbered too bad I think the only really safe place for prism is well, wait, this guy is coming up here, right? So this isn't safe at all. But this is. Just come back to the entrance. Maybe even go grab the server. We don't super need it right now. Uh, let's switch to the dart gun so I don't accidentally kill somebody. I don't mind killing guys if I have to, but doing it accidentally is a real shame. Hello. Nice to see you. Uh, I guess I could get even closer, huh? That's not closer, that was silly. <laughs> oh, shoot, I didn't uh, stop the timer from the last one. Oh, well, we'll say, yeah, it's been about 10 minutes, I think. Jeez, these turns go so slowly. Uh, which is fine. I like the, um, how much do we get for this? Eight brings us to 17. And we are picking up, oops, here we go. Picking up not a lot next turn. Okay, that's fine. I'll take it and get out of here. Nobody's in, like, nobody's going to get seen, right? No. Okay, good. We didn't, we didn't tag that guy, Stan. Oh, I guess we did. <laughs> there he is. We tagged him. All right. Uh, so it's getting to be about time to babysit this guy a little. We can actually paralyze him again. That's that's pretty handy. Oh, because we didn't paralyze him at all the first time. That would be why. 
All right, well, let's just use two golems here. One, two, I don't like these demons. Oh, you got me. All right, well, we'll be fine. Mineral dart, we don't need. Penetration scanner, Rush might want that. I think that's a good upgrade for Rush. Give you armor piercing for uh, melee weapons. She has KO damage for melee weapons. But I think the other is better. I think I may have optimized Rush for like situations that just aren't going to exist. But, you know, that's life, I guess. Uh, okay, well, I'll take it. I think it's fine. She's encumbered now, but she can... So let's, let's double check that you, in fact, cannot steal power from turrets. Okay, you can't. Fine. All right, Rush, put something down, please. What a stupid system. Now let's install all this great and pick this thing up it's funny how these you know brains are are field serviceable right you just uh pick it up pick, pick up whatever an augment is i don't know what shape it is but you just pop it into your head i guess in the middle of a mission uh, kind of wish we could get to that guy right now but i guess it's fine we'll just, we'll just paralyze and get out of here it'll be a while before anybody finds him if ever and Rush can actually make it all the way down here still, which is nice. Banks, not so much. She's going to have a little bit of a tricky time getting out. I guess she'll just, she'll just have to spend a turn watching over this guy. It's not a big deal. We can maybe grab the stim too. Uh, Should have put a parasite on that, huh? There's the exit. Yeah, yeah, can't do anything about it, though. Not the exit, but the, the last thing we need. Okay, so we're going to need some help from... Eh, maybe we can just stall. Uh, I mean, you know, it would be nice to have prism help. Uh, can we get this guy tagged? Yeah, he is. Okay. Uh, I do... I do want... To go get the server back. We're just carrying so many tools that it's hard when there's like anything we need to pick up during a mission. And here, there's just, there are a lot of things, like, right? I mean, we need every mission, we need to pick up the exit card and we need to pick up the power cell. Here, we also wanted the vault access card and then like any extra goodies you pick up that you want to sell. It's just a lot to manage and you end up being encumbered a lot. So maybe I'm carrying too many things. Right? I mean, that's certainly a possibility. I mean, I would, I would sort of like to knock this guy out, but it wouldn't knock him out for long. And the heart monitor would go off. It's like, bleh. I could EMP him, I suppose, and then knock him out. But I'm going to need that EMP. I left that corpse in, like, the worst, worst area. Grumble. Well, Derek's just going to sit around here doing nothing useful. Oh, this stupid in paradox demon. Gross. It's all my fault. It's always your fault in a roguelike. That's an important lesson to learn. Bleh. Uh, who's picking up the stim too? I guess it's, I guess it's you, huh? Yeah. Oh, we do have a big old paralyzer, so we could take this guy out for quite a while. I think that's worth it. The one extra alarm level 
uh, sort of speeds everything else up by a turn, but it speed. This is going to speed Prism up by more than one turn, and she's sort of the bottleneck right now because she needs to get the server. She needs to get um, down there to help out Derek with her hacking tools. Yeah, so. There's another badly managed turn, of course, because I could have done that and not run over here, uh, made more progress, but this should be okay. Oh, and it didn't, it didn't because she's got the thing. She has the, the anatomy analysis, right? Yeah, and so now his, uh, his heart monitor is permanently turned off, it looks like, so that's kind of cool. If we needed to, we could kill him now, but it's not productive. All right, well, what what can Derek usefully do here? I guess he could head back towards the exit and put down his teleport beacon somewhere. That would be a way to enable him to carry more stuff and speed up the exit. Like, if we put it here somehow, or even just here, that would be progress. Yeah, now that death trap up in the north corner is back on. But we're not going back. All right, so Banks just needs to wait right here. Just relax. Rush can come help out as well. So maybe we don't need Prism that badly. But boy, I am loving that anatomy analysis. Who knew? But I, it seems like something so violent, right? Like, I try to play mostly non-violent, but even for just occasional KOs, it's pretty handy. Uh, would I want to stim here? No, most of those moves would be wasted. Well, this stuff is all, like, coming around. So we can get an EMP right here that'll hit both of the key things we want. That's pretty good. Uh, so maybe we won't need Prism's help after all. Uh, so, I mean, she's getting the server, which is, like, the main thing. Derek. What can we do with Derek? We could toss his teleporter to Rush. But there's nowhere very useful we could put it right now, not with all these doors closed. If we could like huck it all the way across down to here, it would be cool. But then somebody would still see it. So like, I don't know. I, I don't I don't think moving a teleporter around is that productive right now. I'll just stand up here and peek. Doesn't matter, but now I have a better view of the area. Uh, that's everybody, right? Yeah, Banks has some actions, but she needs to wait. Derek has some actions, but there's nothing he can do. This guy is not going to see Banks, so this camera drone also not going to see Banks. Off we go. There's sort of a an interesting phenomenon that I'm observing happening with this game that uh, I heard. So as I mentioned, I was reminded to try this game out listening to Roguelike Radio, a podcast about roguelikes. Uh, and one thing they mentioned is that there's sort of two phases to a mission. The first phase, you're doing like a bunch of reconnaissance, figuring out the shape of the facility uh, and not really getting much done. And then in the second phase, you are actually accomplishing your goals. Uh, and at first, I didn't really perceive that to be how the game was working, at least not for me. Uh... This is the exit card, right? Yeah, okay. So we'll send her down to the exit. Um, it seemed like I was scouting the facility and accomplishing whatever goals I could on the way. Uh, and I still do. Like, I mean, I, you know, I grabbed this safe and all this before I knew what everything was up was about. But it seems like as we get further along in these missions, uh, I that gets to be harder. Let's see, can I afford to sprint here? Yeah, I don't think anybody will hear me, and even if they do, who cares? And I want to get Rush. 
into the action as quickly as possible. Uh, I would have to stim, actually, to get her to the important spot, which is right here. But I guess there's no hurry, right? Yeah, we just need to get her to here. The EMP isn't even off cooldown yet, so uh, we'll just charge in here and pop this open. Spend a buster chip on it, even though, I mean, it won't totally open it, but it'll make progress. Um, but this gets the buster chip ready to come back off cooldown, of course. Uh, and I guess I'll send Derek in here to open up, to loot these safes once they're opened. Next turn we'll have Incognito back, which will be nice. Banks is done, Prism, done. Rush is done-ish. Here, there, now she's done. We could have had her here, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, no hacking to do, so I guess that is it. Uh, but but anyway, as I'm observing the difficulty of the missions going up and like the amount of resources you have to put into just opening one safe, uh, I'm feeling like more and more uh, that kind of is happening to me. That I'm like, I can maybe open a couple safes while I'm exploring, but most things. Geez, where do I? Uh... Most things I need to get done, uh, I have to get done after I know what the facility is shaped like. So let's see, they're both over here right now. So I definitely can come down this way. And like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how interesting that observation is. Uh, but it seems like... Oh, let's open the door. Fine. No cameras. Seems like right now we're at a point where the difficulty of exploring <clears throat> is relatively high. Um, and you can definitely mess up while you're exploring. But the difficulty has not yet gotten there in like um, actually empty. Like if I, if I successfully explore without like alerting a bunch of guards in really bad ways... I can escape without too much risk. It takes time while I just wait for power or whatever. Um, and I imagine eventually it's going to get to the point where... And I mean, I have to play carefully, but uh, I'm not really in any danger at this point. I just have to finish the mission without screwing up real bad. I have a rewind if I do. I imagine we'll get to the point where... Even once the facility is explored uh, safely, it'll still be hard to just juggle your resources and manage your stealth or whatever it is um, well enough to finish the mission. Ugh, they're going to add firewalls. I don't like that very much. Well, I have a ton of power, right? So let's knock that out. Uh knock this out with a golem and a data blast. And I don't think we want to finish this this turn. It would be, what, 12 power? Yeah, we can't do it. But uh, we can loot this thing at least. Fine. Um, so anyway, I, I sort of look forward to the point where there isn't this sort of, oh, you know, I'm basically done with everything, but I just need to wait around for a while. Uh, which I imagine is just sort of a temporary spot on the difficulty curve. It might last a while because the difficulty... I don't know. It took a while to go up, I think, and then there was this giant spike when they added these 2.0 demons. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's not like it's bad. It's, it's fun to be in control of the whole map, which is where I am right now. Uh... But it'll be interesting to see how they can make it a challenge, even in this phase. Oh my god! He's got 360 vision, you guys! Oh my god. Uh, 
All right, did the other guy notice as well? What is the deal? Yeah, he did. He threw a grenade. Your your buddy is standing there. What are you thinking? All right. So this is not the best situation I've ever been in, but it's fine. Uh, Prism, in fact, can just handle this on her own. These guys. Are... Yeah. All right. So we'll just uh, pop a shock trap on this door. Cost us a little power, but no big deal. And then get out of the way. I don't think it matters to be standing there, but like it might. This guy might shoot her or something, and I don't want that, so. Down they go. <laughs> so, okay, there's still some challenge, right? I can mess up. <laughs> uh, and there's still this grenade, which feels like it was very reckless of him to throw that on his buddy. But you know what? If that's what you gotta do, you do you. So you can't pick up the grenades, huh? Ooh, stim three, nice. Just make sure nobody is in the area with that grenade, huh? I feel like Shock Trap three is like, it's so good. Uh-oh. <laughs> She doesn't have enough moves to get uh, to close the door. All right, we'll close the door with uh, banks then. Like even that grotesque error didn't really matter that much. All right, how are we doing? We want another golem in here for sure, Zs. And like two more golems is gonna do it but I don't really have the power to do that. In fact, zero more golems will do it because we'll just use the buster chip. So Derek, time to head for the exit. I could maybe toss his uh, transport beacon down here and then like have him head back. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be much point. I don't know. I just did it. Who cares? Hmm. I bought something from the shop, didn't I? Yeah, the penetration scanner. Um, but it hardly matters. Uh, yeah, so Rush has this under control. Might as well stand here slightly closer to the exit by half a movement. And uh, that should do it. Yeah, the CEO's on his way to the exit. Okay, we got the power cell. And we are on our way out. This is just the CEO. It really doesn't matter if he sees Rush, but I guess I'll play it safe. And, uh, are we dragging this guy? We are not dragging this guy. All right, Derek. <laughs> Come pick this thing up. <laughs> and we'll just wait for Rush. There's nothing else we need to do. What is it showing? A bunch of people are encumbered? Is that all it's showing me? Oh, and the new demon. Okay. This is just a CEO, though. I really... I do not have any respect for you, sir. I would knock you out. I, I could knock you out here. Nah, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it'll just slow me down. There's no real need. Okay. 
go. Somebody is investigating here for some reason? I don't know why that is. Uh, they didn't add a new guard. Was it because the CEO saw something that scared him and reported it? I don't know. Oh, he found, uh, he must be like hunting now, right? Because he found, oh no, this is the guy who woke up. This guy woke up now. All right. The guy we knocked out and paralyzed and left to die. Yeah, sure. And we're one move away from the exit. Could have gotten that move last turn, but I played it safe with the CEO. So, mm. Did anybody pick up the Stim 3? Here's some med gel. More med gel. <laughs> Looks like, yeah, Banks has the Stim 3. All right. Anybody have room to carry anything? No, nope, we're all full. All right. Do I want to... Hey, they're both just carrying med gel, so that's the thing I would drop anyway. Let's go. All right, uh, we did have to kill a guy. It's kind of a hassle, but... Oh, I, I would have liked to pick up a charge pack from the shop, but I just didn't have the space for it. So we'll just give uh, give Prism another one. Take it out of Derek's possession or something. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.